I might be having a bit too much fun using the SVD in ranked, but as I play more and more ranked games, the more players I see using the AK-117. There is another assault rifle that plays similar to the AK-117 that might be forgotten among casual players in ranked. I also put this above the AK-117 on the top 10 list. Any guesses? It's none other than the Peacekeeper. For the comparison that'll be done today, it'll be based on this Peacekeeper build and this AK-117 build. Let's get into it. First of all, the Peacekeeper and the AK-117 are really close in terms of damage and range. Peacekeeper has a 21 meter range of 4 shots to kill, which results in a 250 milliseconds time to kill wherever you hit the enemy. On the flip side, AK-117 has a consistent 4 shots to kill up to 12 meters and a potential 4 shots to kill up to 25 meters with a slightly faster time to kill than Peacekeeper with 233 milliseconds if you hit the chest and arms. Next up. Peacekeeper has 37 meters of 5 shot kill range with a tiny chance of killing in 4 shots. The AK-117 has a potential 5 shot kill range of 44 meters still with a slightly faster time to kill compared to the Peacekeeper. After that, both guns will suffer from their BSA and it's not recommended to engage in gunfights at further ranges. Bottom line, AK-117 has a potential time to kill at all ranges however it has a bad consistency. Peacekeeper is overall better with faster ADS speed, a little bit shorter sprint to fire delay, and most importantly, an insanely faster stray speed with 4.31 meters per second instead of 3.05 meters per second for AK-117, which is 40% faster. Sprint speed and walk speed are softly better on the side of the AK-117, but nothing really significant. In this area, Peacekeeper is way better with a mobility closer to what we have on SMGs than what we see on average ARs. A very important point especially concerning assault rifles is ease of use. Both have a large mag with 40 bullets for Peacekeeper and 48 bullets for AK-117, but AK-117's reload time is 2 times longer than Peacekeeper which is something that can disturb an aggressive playstyle. Visually, AK-117 is better, it has a clean iron sight and no aim shake, totally opposite to the Peacekeeper that has an obstructive iron sight and a lot of aim shake. And the recoil, AK-117 is one of those rare guns in COD Mobile that doesn't have a fixed recoil pattern. It's not that hard to control, it's just not consistent. Peacekeeper on its side, after a huge recoil buff a few months ago, has now a somehow easy to control recoil pattern and it kicks less than the AK-117. And in terms of damage consistency, Peacekeeper is better in the first two ranges with a consistent competitive time to kill. And for the AK-117, you're relying more on the potential competitive time to kill beyond 12 meters. Even if it's easy to achieve for an average legendary player, it's inconsistent and might cause some surprise price in a gunfight. Both are really great guns, but are you willing to deal with an unpredictable recoil pattern for potentially better time to kill? Or deal with a bad iron sight for a faster strafing speed with consistent time to kill? So go ahead, give these guns a good amount of time to see which ones you like best. Which one will you try first? Let me know down in the comments below. If you want to learn more about recoil control secrets, click this video right here. Or if you want to train your aim, practice along with this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.